I can see some blue skies over there, but it's probably not coming my way. So over here, it's just a blizzard waiting to strike. The Swedish winter just keeps on giving. You know, this honestly feels like, you know, a good kick to the ball sometimes. It could just take you by surprise. But if there's anything I've learned about snow, is that you just gotta grab it by the horns and just punch it in the face. Because in a few weeks or so, I'm sure we're gonna have a good thaw. And this whole thing is gonna turn into a sea of slush. It's like a icy soup. And then it's gonna be a whole different story. I'm stuck with doing this the old fashioned way using this stupid thing because the heater the engine heater on the tractor stopped working so that's just my luck there's tons of other stuff that I could be doing right now but then I gotta deal with this and it's not just a little driveway here it's the entire road which obviously would go like this with a tractor but anyway I guess this is the Part number two of renovating the workshop. So enjoy. <laughs> of the roof is fairly shallow and it's a kind of a wide building the spacing between the old trusses is just way too much i'm going to rebuild the existing trusses and put additional new trusses in between each of the old ones and once that's done we can drop the ceiling height by 20 or 30 centimeters and put a, a good solid layer of insulation and then cover the whole thing with the tongue and groove siding and it's going to look awesome So I've kind of hired Fia's dad to help out with this job uh, because working with trusses, you really need to be two people. Even though the lumber itself is not that heavy, but it's there's some fairly long pieces and you always work in funny angles when you're working on the roof or the ceiling. And he's really a good guy and I like him a lot. You know, he likes fishing. He has tons of experience. He's been a carpenter for most of his life. And bless his heart, but he really likes talking. And he always tells these stories that, you know, they can go on forever. Which is fine if you're sitting around the campfire, drinking a nice cup of coffee or something. But when you're trying to work and your life is just a endless stress, it's nice to Stay focused most of the time. Instruktion 
And so I kind of have to steer him away from the conversation a little bit. <laughs> you know, keep him focused on the work. But as long as he sticks to his short stories, we make, we make a good team, him and I, when we're working together. This is just the beginning. Building the new interior walls was the easy part. Fixing this roof is what most of this renovation is going to be about. But it feels good to have begun. I can already picture how it's going to look once it's finished. Having a nice open ceiling like this with the visible wooden trusses and finally cutting away what's visible of the old rusted steel structure. It's gonna put a nice touch to this workshop. Sun's going down over that hill and it's casting this soft yellow light on the trees behind me here. Looks pretty cool. I guess my biggest issue is that I'm, I'm too impatient. You know, I want things to happen right away, yesterday. I'm always uh, thinking that things <laughs> take so much less time than they, than they actually do. And that's when the impatient side of me starts uh, speaking. And when that happens, the impatient little devil inside of me is just like, go, 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 go. I just gotta let things take the time that they need to, to get done. And all I gotta do is, is focus on working and eventually things get done. I'm not just here, you know, staring at the sun, sunset. I'm actually trying to heat up this tractor. I got this genius idea, or I think it will be a genius idea. So I just grabbed some insulation and I stuck this little space heater <laughs> inside of it. And I also just want to briefly mention that uh, lately uh, I've had a Quite a few comments and even personal messages from, I guess, fellow woodworkers or just people in general, just uh, wishing me good luck and thanking me for for making these videos. It honestly, it goes straight to my heart. I think that's just so nice when people, you know, take time out of their day to send something positive to another person they maybe feel like they relate to or something. So, yeah. Keep it up, it's cool. Stupid snow. <laughs> Come on. 